Day one for schools across Spartanburg County is in the books. For many, the new normal under COVID-19 conditions will take some getting used to. This is the first time those students have been back to school since March. It comes as state case numbers reported by DHEC continue to trend downward and officials just hope it stays that way. Fox Carolina's Matt Koufax talked with teachers and students and joins us live at the Spartanburg District 5 offices tonight. Yeah, Tori, well, just a couple of weeks ago, I stood right here and I asked district officials in Spartanburg 5 about their plans for reopening. And they say that those plans turned out better than they expected today, but there is still a lot of work to be done. They're looking forward to first day number two. Molly Williams teaches fifth grade at Barry Shoals Intermediate in Spartanburg 5. We've been in the building preparing, so to see the kids was really wonderful. She says today went smoother than expected, but that doesn't mean it was easy. It was tiring. It's a lot to think about all day, making sure the kids are socially distant and taking care of washing hands. Williams says everything is different this year, all the way down to lunch being eaten inside the classroom. We are sanitizing the desk before they even eat lunch, and then afterwards we're sanitizing. Reese says, I think that was our biggest challenge, just to make sure they were staying pretty far apart. She also realized today that she needs to buy more of certain shared classroom items, in her case, a tape dispenser. It's never been an issue. Um, we've always just shared that that was something that I'll have to make sure that I have enough supplies for all of my students even the things that we don't use every day. Students like 10 year old Ashlyn Chase are just happy to see their friends again and to have something to do. I was just ready to get out of the house. Spartanburg schools are all requiring masks in some capacity, but she says wearing one turned out OK. It was hot, but we didn't have to wear it in the classroom while we were sitting down, so it wasn't that bad. Williams adds because of the hybrid A-B schedule to keep numbers down, tomorrow will be another test run. It's such a weird feeling that today was my first day, but also so is tomorrow. She says it's worth it to see her kids again. I have no idea what the future holds though and I know that my school we're going to do whatever we can to make sure that the kids are safe and taken care of. And Williams says that it's really all about routine. She says that once kids get sort of set in the ways of wearing a mask, washing hands, social distancing, doing all of the things that they can to prevent the spread of COVID-19, it'll become second nature. Until then, she and all the other administrators, she says, are going to make sure that they adhere to those protocols very stringently. In Spartanburg County, Matt Koufax, Fox Carolina V, 10 o'clock news. Matt, thank you. And we'll have full coverage of back to school on the morning news starting at 4.30 in the morning. The first day of school is a bit bumpy for those virtual learners in North Carolina. Part of the system crashed as students logged on today. Officials were able to fix that problem within an hour. They say they're still looking into what caused